Serena Williams. Final thoughts from them. We go to Michael Barkan in the tunnel. All right, Al, thank you very much. The, this was delayed a little bit because of the way the last match went. Does that affect your preparation in any way? Oh, no, not at all. I'm really excited and ready to get out there. You talked about that at the outset of the tournament, about yeah. the possibility of playing Justine at this point. Um, what does that present for you? You know, we always play each other in their quarters. We request each other because it seems that we always play each other. So, you know, whatever. Good luck, Serena. Thank you. Serena Williams. And uh, they've played twice this year, Roland Garros and Wimbledon. And here is the number one seed. And, and I'll ask you the same question. How, if at all, does this affect your preparation, the lateness of the preceding match? Well, there was, you know, nothing we could do about that. They played a, an amazing match, and it was good to watch. But, uh, yeah, just try to hang out a little bit in the locker rooms and uh, get ready when we have to. So uh, I'm fine. You won in two sets at Roland Garros, three sets at Wimbledon. Uh, how do you take care of this one tonight? Oh, it's going to be so different, different atmosphere and uh, different tournament. She's at home, but I have a lot of motivation, too. So it's going to be interesting. Good luck, Justin. Thank you. Thank you. Al? All right, Michael. And these final thoughts brought to you by the American Express Card, providing you with insider access to the best of the Open. So Serena, always very popular here, not loving those final thought interviews, however. Uh, she's already in match mode, Al. She's already in, in her own little tunnel of her mind, ready to battle. Justine a little bit more relaxed, but it's about time for her to narrow her focus as the fans come in and Al Troutwick takes you to commercial. Yeah, Roland Garros, they both fell short at Wimbledon and for the third time in a Grand Slam this year, they meet in the quarterfinals as they both pursue another U.S. Open championship. And it is the most anticipated women's match, at least when the draw came out. And they have arrived at this night, Serena Williams, and Justine Ennin. And welcome inside Arthur Ashe Stadium along with Tracy Austin, John McEnroe, Ted Robinson. You notice how excited Tracy's been Tracy's waiting getting dressed nine for the occasion. days for this. <laughs> this women's match we've had to watch a lot Tracy and this is the one you've been waiting for this is the juicy match and as you said Ted this is the match that we've been waiting for since the draw came out for the most sports in HD you've got to get direct TV well, it'll almost feel like this is opening night in a sense don't you I mean like the, obviously we're moving into the final rounds the energy level the the buzz is going to be that much sharper it's been a very strong U.S. Open, Ted. A lot of close matches, particularly on the men's side. A lot of effort being put out there. And, you know, it's, it's been a bit of a bummer with the women so far, especially at USA at night. But uh, this hopefully will make up for it. And, of course, Serena and Justine and in tonight. Tomorrow night, Venus Williams and Yelena Yankovic will play the first match primetime at the Open. And then the winners of these two will play each other on Friday in the semis and so there's been much discussion about this but the reality is that the women which tends to get overlooked in the conversation when the women play a, a tier one tour event they play every day best of three here at the majors they get at least a day off between best so, of three. so that semi so. and final Friday and Saturday shouldn't be that difficult in the majors should we ever consider that, Jason? By the way, get the women playing best of five? We used to play best of five in the finals of our championships. We did that for a few years, and then they did away with it. I mean, it's equal prize money. Come on, get them out there. Oh, man, he's starting quickly, <laughs> Ted. Come on, did you expect? <laughs> so here we go with Serena well, Williams. It's ironically, let's point out, because of that match with Djokovic and Monaco, it's, it's half full here. It's going to fill up. It's going to take a couple games to get all the people in. Which makes it makes it a little weird for Annette and Williams here early. And it's the only it's the only regret so far. This should be that moment like we had last night with all the flash bulbs going off when Federer was playing. It's still a little difficult to realize that Justine and Serena are playing in the quarters. And these are the two slams. I don't know why the game's according to what they want, so this doesn't happen. Get her higher seated, Serena. Number. <laughs> How about two up. or three? Let's move her up eight places in the seeds. That's crazy. At least they moved her up. Yeah. 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 
the only major that used to be. Grass slower these days, bounces a little higher. Get used to this, a break point chances for Hannah right. if she breaks. Well, she hasn't now, clearly her, until Safina last round, she hasn't played high level competition, but she's just. First three rounds, she played qualifiers, so. Yes. As big a serve as Serena, so she's gonna have to keep that first service percentage up so Serena can attack the second serve. A lot of this in Ennen's game, that forehand wing. Well, both of them sending a message there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you can do it, I can do it better. To me, it's intimidating to opponents to see her, how well positioned she, she is, both up deserves. at net and at the baseline. Serena's got to get going here. She comes out a little too sluggish to me in these matches. You can get away with it exactly. against the other opponents. And that, that was what perplexed all of us at Roland Garros this year. Now, granted, Clay would be an advantage for Justine, but Serena didn't appear to be engaged in the match. Very sluggish in her movement. A match earlier this year in the Miami final, Serena's won all three career against Hannon on hardcore. The surface clearly favors here, but let's not forget that match you mentioned. Just she's gone through in this U.S. Open, but she has no match where she's been completely sharp. Serena says her thumb, which plagued her in the Wimbledon match with Hannon, she says that's fine. Now, other people in her family have hinted that she's fighting some other injuries. Serena won't say anything about it. Other injuries. Mm -hmm. Press. A really badly miss hit there. That's why they tell you not to swing at your volley. This turn. There's Aura Seen. Serena's mom and coach, which co coach would, with Richard. Which would lead you to believe that she's not feeling totally confident about her physical well being. 